This video demonstration is intended as an introduction to the Sorion A2B Master Module. The Sorion A2B Module is a master transceiver that can be used to substitute an existing host controller on an A2B bus, allowing interaction or configuration of devices on the bus through Sorion Sexton software. The A2B module also supports provision of phantom power to the bus, allowing connection of both powered and unpowered modules. The A2B module itself is interfaced to a carrier card which provides connections to the outside world. A single carrier can accommodate up to four A2B modules, allowing interaction with four independent A2B buses at once. A carrier card can be used in a standalone configuration, as part of a small system, or as part of a full e-test station. For the purpose of clarity, a standalone configuration will be demonstrated. All that is required is the carrier card with module, a power supply, broken out connections to allow access to the A2B buses, and a Windows PC on which to run sextants. The script configures the module as a master and instructs it to begin the discovery process. For each node that's detected, the A2B transceiver's vendor ID is retrieved, along with the universally unique identification number that every A2B transceiver contains. To demonstrate the system, we've created a small A2B bus consisting of four phantom powered nodes and prepared a script to carry out the discovery process. The discovery process only takes a few seconds, so to see what's just happened, we'll look at a log of the prompts that briefly appeared on screen using trace data. From the trace data, we can see the script confirmed successful communication with the master, and then proceeded to identify four nodes, with their vendor IDs and UUIDs shown. Let's remove a node. Now only two nodes are detected, which is what we expect. In an end-of-line testing situation, you would know how many nodes you expect, and so the simple process of discovery can be used to ensure that the correct number of nodes are present on a harness before allowing manufacturing to continue. I'll reconfigure the A2B bus with three nodes. As you can see, three nodes are found successfully and the test passes. What happens if we remove a node? The tests failed. Looking at the results, we can see that the test has failed because now only two nodes were found. Let's reconnect nodes 2 and 3 that were removed earlier. Again the test has failed. The results indicate the failure is now because there's one more node than expected. In a real life situation, Perhaps the wrong harness has been connected, or an optional node fitted by mistake. In this example, I've added two additional devices to the A2B bus, one of which contains additional intelligence. As you'll see in this case, the vendor ID for one of the nodes is different, and this corresponds to a HEM module. If I now run an identification script, that expects to find a HEM module at position 4, you can see that it retrieves the hardware identification string and serial number from the module and that the serial number matches that printed on the HEM unit. I'll add a second A2B module to module position 2 and connect a new harness to this bus. We now have three nodes connected to the original bus 1 two nodes connected to the new bus 2. If I run the original discovery script on bus 1, three nodes are discovered as expected. Now if I run discovery on bus 2, two new nodes are discovered on this bus as expected. So far I've demonstrated the system working on the bench. Now a final demonstration to show the system working with an actual vehicle harness. As before, I'll start the discovery process. In this case, five nodes are connected to the harness, and as you can see from the results, all five nodes have been detected. Node 3 is a HEM module, which can be inferred from the vendor ID as before. Running an identification script for Node 3 correctly retrieves the hardware identification string and serial number. In summary, 
The Sorion A2B Master Module provides an excellent tool for end-of-line testing for vehicle harnesses containing automotive audio burst devices and is supported by the mature and feature-rich Sexton scripted automation environment along with the Orion database system for secure result storage and analysis. For more information on this product, please contact Sorion Electronics using the information shown on screen.